Hey guys, welcome to an actual vlog on this vlog channel and today I'm gonna do a vlog that a basic bitch would do and it is why I'm having a bad day. Everything's broken! So first, my day started with me riding my boosted board and when I was done, I went to go plug it in to charge it. You see the green light on the charger? It's not charging! It turns on and the motor spin, but it just won't charge. The best part is, I don't know if it's the charger that's the problem or the battery that's the problem. And the battery I have on it now is the extended range. So you're probably asking, where's your standard range battery? Well, after I upgraded to the extended range battery, I did keep the standard battery for about two months. But just last week, I sold it! So, I don't have another battery to use the board with or to test the charger with. I sold it because I didn't think anything was going to go wrong with the extended battery. Whoops. Yes, you heard me right. Cancel my insurance. I've been in this location for 40 years and never once have I broken a lamp. Good day, sir. In fact, it's still in transit. I'm kind of hoping the guy who bought it finds a problem and returns it to me so I can still use my board. So yeah, now I gotta ship the whole board to Boosted so they can fix it. They did email me a prepaid shipping label so they can take a look at it, so I guess that's good. I just boxed it up, ready to ship, and turns out the FedEx shipping center is closed. Great. I could have sent my boosted board out today, but I didn't see the email with the shipping label until now. Well, the email came two hours earlier when the shipping center was still open, but my phone was upstairs, so I didn't see the email notification. But I was downstairs using my iPad, and for some reason, this didn't show the email notification when it came. See? Everything's broken! You know what's funny? I have to get it to the shipping center in my car, which I do not like to drive. And when I was riding home on it, I stopped to check the mailbox. And just before I found out my boosted board won't charge, this was in the mail. Subaru always sends me spam mail, which I never want. This time, I'm pretty sure it's mocking me. And second broken item. This iBook G3 clamshell! Remember this from the last video I did on this channel? Well, I kinda broke it a little bit. So, I bought this 16GB thumb drive from Best Buy, so I can transfer files easier, and I tried to plug it in, but it wasn't going in for some reason, so I pushed harder, and turns out I was trying to shove it in the Ethernet slot, instead of the next to it USB slot. And I bent all the pins on the ethernet port so it couldn't be used. I then tried to bend the pins back, but I broke some. As you can see, now the ethernet won't work at all, and I wanted to see if this thing can load some modern web pages with the ethernet jack. Ugh. And to add insult to injury, this USB stick is too new to work with this iBook. So, I have to return it. Ugh. I don't mind that I have to return it, but I have to drive there with my car because my boosted board is broken. And I don't want to do that because I feel like driving my car is just a waste to return a $5 USB stick. My Best Buy is on the other side of town. And I just feel like it's a waste of gas and space on the road just to return a $5 USB stick. It wouldn't be a problem if only my boosted board worked. Ugh. Well, even with the screwed up ethernet jack, this iBook still works fine though. And the third thing that is broken today is this water bottle. It's a Contigo that I bought from Target. And it's supposed to work by, there's a little button you have to press when you tilt it towards your mouth and then water just comes out of this little slot. You press this button, that slot opens. I thought it was cool when I bought it, but today I got a little surprise from it. So water is only supposed to come out of this slot right here. And today when I woke up and I wanted a drink of water and I tilted it towards my head, this is what happened. Oh, come on. Won't show it now. Only sometimes it happens, I don't know why. Ugh, 
Probably have to keep on refilling it to show you what happened. Oh, well, it's kind of happening now. You can see it's happening a little bit right now. Yeah, right there. So as you can see, there's little drips of water coming out from right here, which is not supposed to happen. It only sometimes happens for some reason, but this morning when I was trying to get a drink, a whole stream of water came out from where, here, where it's not supposed to. You're drinking from here, but the water came out from here. The annoying part is that sometimes I can replicate it, but sometimes I can't. So I have to return it to Target, and I don't have the receipt. But I called the Target store, and they said I could exchange it without a receipt, so that's kind of a win but once again I don't feel like driving to Target because I feel like it's just a waste of space on the road and gas to return a water bottle. If only I had a method of transportation that was more environmentally friendly than my car. Hmm. Oh see, see that's what hit me in the face this morning. That big stream coming out of the wrong end. Yeah, what a nice thing to wake up to. And it just happens on and off. I don't know what's causing it. So yeah, that was my basic bitch vlog to show you why I'm having a bad day. Once again, everything's broken! My life is so hard. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Support me on GoFundMe for my horrible life. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.